This video is a comparison of footage I recorded of the launch of CRS-8 from the NASA social to a simulation of the footage using Orbiter 2010. One engine ignition, liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket with science for today and for deep space exploration tomorrow. Falcon 9 has cleared the towers. The footage will not perfectly correspond to the simulation for a couple of reasons. For one thing, I did not record my GPS coordinates during the launch, and the NASA causeway I was viewing it from is rather long, so I had to approximate my location along that causeway. Secondly, the simulation is of course not using the actual proprietary software, which is running on the Falcon 9 rocket. The guidance used in the simulation is an approximation of the rocket's trajectory, including an autopilot for entry, descent, and landing. The main point I'm trying to make with this video is to show that although the rocket appears to be going down in the view by the end of the video, that is to be expected because the rocket is going over the curvature of the Earth. And you can see that in this simulation. After showing a comparison of this footage, I will switch the camera position in the simulation to the rocket's second stage, and you will see it is proceeding on to orbit even though it appeared to be moving down in the view of the telescope. Next Stage one propulsion is still nominal. Impact chill has begun. Bound telemetry nominal. Launch plus two minutes. First day separation, two minutes and 34 seconds. Standing by for first day separation. Stage sep First stage separation confirmed. Second stage ignition. Stage one is entering its flip. 